discuss okay so let's discuss chemical equation for today's class from the very scratch then look like comes from the scratch and for the very first class we said um talk about elements compounds ions molecules what have you we said represent elements using what symbols represent compounds using what there formula mention that right um most of the times different elements or perhaps different compounds react together called the reactants or they react together for what's called what a product that's actually, that's actually what's called what a chemical reaction right right think that was let's define something let's define something let's start with the concept of what is called chemical reaction what that means chemical reaction a chemical reaction is definition a chemical reaction is the combination the chemical reaction is the combination of an element and a compound the combination of an element or a compound and a compound or two elements or two compounds or two compounds to form newer compounds to form newer compounds to form newer compounds known as the products known as the products so here's the idea when it comes to chemical reaction we're looking at the combination of an element and a compound to form a new compound or an element and an element combining to form a compound or two compounds combining to form what there several other compounds or perhaps a higher compound the two substances that combine in a cobalt the reactants the ones formed a cobalt the product that's like what we mean by chemical reaction so if i now say if i now say sodium combines with chlorine to form sodium chloride that's like the chemical reaction that's an element sodium combined to that element chlorine to form table salt or sodium chloride question is this now how do i now write what i've just said in or how do i express what i just said in writing how do i do that through what's called with them? the chemical reaction or the chemical equation okay take down a chemical equation is the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction that's the concept the chemical equation is the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction so get this right you represent elements using symbols represent um, compounds using what there formulas represent chemical reaction using what there chemical equations so these are like the three representations there right elements with symbols compounds with formula chemical reactions with what there chemical equation think about it an example eg eg example of chemical equations of this uh, i have uh, sodium combining with chlorine uh, we use the ion equation now form nacl this is one of it okay this is a chemical equation You can see uh, U neutralization. That's combination of an acid and a base, right? Acid and base form what there? Salt and what there? Water. Called neutralization. What does this tell you? That sodium hydroxide is combined with hydrochloric acid 
from Sumo to Rai. So this is a cut in chemical equation 1. It's an alphabetical representation of the chemical reaction. These are all we by chemical equations. My, my reason of bringing up this man here is such that we can look at for jam scenario, focus more on how to balance chemical equations, how to balance them. That's like that should be like a focus here. How do I balance chemical equations? And then look at what should I expect uh, when reactors. Okay, I mentioned reactors and products. Please, these are all the reactors. Now, from For the reactors, this one here for the products, right? So the ones combined from your reactors, what you get after the combination forms your product. Forms your product. And this one is just about chemical equation. Another thing is just about chemical equation. Is some um, state of matter, right? In chemical, in chemical equations, you can represent their states of matter via substrates, right? For instance, this I have NaO. So you have your side. What's what state of matter? Is this called liquid or gas? Huh? Huh? Is this solid liquid or gas? You have your side. Gas, wow, be a liquid. You know, it's going to be a liquid. Combine it with HCl. Hydrogen acid, obviously, is a liquid. It will give you NaOH. It should be K plus H2O. Water is obviously a liquid. What is the matter here? But it's all this is the matter. What I have is called AQ. What's AQ? AQ means aqueous. When something is aqueous, what does it mean? It is dissolved in water, that's all. When something is dissolved in water, it becomes what? Aqueous. What's the difference between aqueous and liquid? What's the difference? When something is liquid, that means it's in, in quote, liquid form in its pure state. That's it. Right, water is liquid, it's liquid, that's it. Right, what should I do again? What should I do again? You know what's liquid though? So I was just myself, yes. So, liquid is actually a liquid form, that's liquid. What's this aqueous? It means generally it's not actually liquid, but yet it has been dissolved in water because of the an aqueous state. If I have my table salt, your white table salt, obviously, table salt is actually what there? Solid, small solid. Take that table salt now, use a cup of water. Pour it inside a cup of water and expect. Will you see anything there? No. But I still have table salt there, true or false? At that point, I cannot say table salt is not liquid. It's not liquid. What's the concept there? It has been mixed with water, so because of there, and aqueous. What something is aqueous? It has been mixed with water. So this, one, this, this, so this part shows the state of matter of the different reactor. Okay? So this one shows you that this, this reactor is liquid. This reactor is liquid, this reactor is aqueous, or oh, sorry, this product is aqueous, this product is aqueous. Focus more on balancing chemical equations. So you tell me, what do you want to balance the equation? What does it mean? Huh? Is it? No, reactor of molecule. Okay, take that. 
to balance an equation, to balance a chemical equation, to balance a chemical equation, comma, we ensure that the number of moles we ensure that the number of moles of each element the number of moles of each element is the same on the reactant and product side that's all and ensure that the number of moles of each element is the same on the reactant and the product side. So stop. That's all. Note. Very important. Note. Very important. Note. Very important. Equations are balanced by note. Equations are balanced by adding input whole number coefficients equations are balanced by adding whole number coefficients before before any element or compound before any element or compound before any element or compound that should be like number one note number two now let me say this for the place when it comes to balancing equations, please observe. I said you, you balance the equation by adding what there, you put whole number coefficient. So it's not really advisable, at least. It, it, it's not wrong though, but at your level, it's not advisable to balance the equation using fraction. It's not very advisable. Why to be correct at your level? It's not okay. When it comes to balancing equation, I have to use what there, whole numbers. It's whole numbers, not fraction. We'll see how that works. That's number one. But two, why balancing equations? Why balancing equations? Subscripts are not used. Why balancing equations? Subscripts are not used. Just hold number coefficients to stop why balance equations subscripts are not used just whole number coefficients uh, that's all well, we'll take an example and see how balance equations we'll take an example and see how we balance equations i want to assume that all of you must no matter how bad it's been went to that discuss this part, right? So I'm not doing it for green sake. But I don't necessarily. Alright. Okay. Example. Balance the following equation. Example. Balance the following equation. Thank you. 
Alright, so let's get this done. Let's get this done. Let's balance these three, these three shots. Look at this. My first is I have is I have magnesium energy combined with HCL to give you NGCL2 plus H2. One of the reasons why a good chemical equation should have its state is that it tells you what you're dealing with. Right? If I look at about two and about three, this one has a state. In your that means this is actually uh, hydrogen chloride gas. This gas, sorry, hydrochloric acid, sorry. Right? In this case now, PCL becomes hydrochloric acid. If I should ask you if this hydrochloric acid that you think is concentrated or diluted, which of them? PCL, yeah, if it is concentrated or diluted. Why is it like that? Is it considered or is it diluted? What is considered? What does it mean? Let me come out Let me laugh. Okay. Alright, so I was going to my side. Uh, what was it? Alright, so I said. HCL, aqueous means it has been diluted and mixed with water. Combined with this man, such a limestone, solid. So, and I'm saying this, I said, one of the, one of the things about, about uh, having states of matter is that it tells you what exactly you're dealing with. Exactly what you're dealing with. Example, if I get it myself, if I have H2O, H2O has been used with water. If I have H2O liquid, what does it mean? This is water. If I have H2O solid, what does it mean? This is what now? Ice block. What it means? If I have H2O gas, what does it mean here now? What makes it mean? That's air, steam. So at this point, I don't want this is not water. This one is what now? Steam, no water. Why? It's the gaseous form. So the thing about it is what you're dealing with. That's the concept. Alright, so if I'm having this here now, what's this here? We are not too sure. When except you're conversant with reaction, you would know. But if you're not conversant with reaction, you cannot tell. There are two possible this here. There's this here as a liquid, which is really because of the hydrochloric acid. That's an acid as a liquid. There's HCl as a gas, which is because of the hydrogen chloride gas. So at this point now, choose is this. Is it hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride gas? You can't tell. Because there's no state there. But it should, should be what there? Hydrochloric acid actually. Alright, let's balance this up now. Now listen. I have this mark here. I want to balance this. What do I do? Two things you should note. When it comes to balancing the equation, I said you add only what there? Whole number ratio, uh, whole number coefficient. To just coefficient. What is coefficient? Simply a number placed before an alphabet. That's all. That means I'm adding whole numbers here before this alphabet. Here, here, or here, and this may be that's my one. But two, when it comes to balance equation, I don't add uh, subscripts. So you come here, you see there is NGCL2, the two here. Just to make sure that the is balanced, not going to say this is HCL2, this will be wrong. You don't add subscripts. These ones are called subscripts, please. You don't add subscripts, just hold over constitution. So if you think this is wrong, why it's wrong is because when you add subscript, you form a compound that is not existing. That's the fact, it doesn't exist. If you're here in the previous class, we discussed about forming compounds. So when I'm having MGCL2, this one is, is actually much more intentional. Because if you walk out this one here, magnesium chloride. What's magnesium? We discussed magnesium is what? Mg2 plus. The valency. I'll give you some before here. Combine what here? Chlorine one there, minus what goes now? This one goes this way, so it comes this way. So because of that, NGCL2. So it's very much um, real. But then I'm going to say ACL2. There's no possible ACL2, it doesn't exist. 
So by the time you now start putting some scripts here, your funding compound does not exist. So you don't use your scripts. Right, let's use the whole number ratio or whole number coefficient to balance this out. How do you balance this? Start with the first one here, yeah? magnesium. How many moles here? Yeah? Just one. Just one magnesium here. Yeah? We can say one atom if you want to. Come here. Yeah? How many magnesium here? Yeah? That's just one. So magnesium is balanced. Next up, the next one for the hydrogen is hydrogen. How many hydrogen here? Yeah? That's just one. I can see hydrogen here. Yeah? How many here? Yeah? Two. So what about now? Of course, this is two. This is one. This one here is lesser than this. So I'll have to put one there. Two. Also note this. When you place whole numbers before letters, what happens now? This one must match the source with here. What was the source with here? One. Two times one gives you one there. Two. That means in this I now have two hydrogen. Two times one here. That's two. So two hydrogen. Hydrogen is now balanced. Go to chlorine. Two times one is what there? Two chlorine. How many here now? Two chlorine. This is balanced. That's just our problem situation. Number two, I have HCl uh, aqueous form combined with calcium trinitrate. This one, why? That's a nice thing. Combined with hydrogen chloride in aqueous form. This was solid. Combined with H2O water. Oh, you see that one there? Okay, sorry. To give you hydrogen chloride. In aqueous form plus water in liquid form plus carbon dioxide in gaseous form. So, how do we, we balance this? This is hydrogen here, just one hydrogen here. Come to the product side, how many parts? How many are hydrogen here? Two. So, I have to place two here. It gives you two hydrogen, so hydrogen is not balanced. Next, I'm going to chlorine. Two times one here, yeah? two chlorine. How many chlorine are you time? Still two chlorine. It's balanced. So it's okay now. Come here. How many cars do you have here? Just one. How many cars are here? Just one. It's balanced. Come here. How many carbon here? Yeah? One carbon. Just this one here. Yeah? How many carbon do you put outside? One. Finally, come to oxygen. How many oxygen here at the reactant part? Three. How many oxygen do you have here? I have one here. Plus two here. So you have it here? Three. That means three oxygen here put down. One plus two here. That's three put down. So it's balanced. One last one. That's three. Uh, H2. That's just four. Plus. O2 gaseous form give you H2O in gaseous form. How do I balance this? Start with hydrogen H2. Come here, two hydrogen, so it's balanced. Come here now, I can see oxygen O2. You don't come here and say O2 here. This compound does it exist? Yes, it's called hydrogen peroxide. But then you distorted the whole reaction. If I combine the hydrogen with oxygen, it doesn't give me the hydrogen peroxide. It gives you either perhaps water or perhaps steam, perhaps um, ice cream, depending on what you're looking for. So why this one exists is not a good job. So hence, I cannot add this. Instead, I have to add a whole number coefficient. There is two, here is one. So I'll put two here instead. That means, considering oxygen, I have two oxygen here. For this one, I have two times one. That's two oxygen. But then there's a problem. Why you, do, why you do this now? Observe, in this point now, how many hydrogen do you have here? Four in total. That's two times. It gives you four hydrogen. Come here. How many hydrogen here? Two. That means I, have, I, I now have more hydrogen here than here. 
And that is what you're doing now. Put on that to here. It gives you four hydrogen. Four hydrogen. Two times two. Two oxygen. Two times one here. Yeah, oxygen. And this stuff is balanced. So, this is how you balance chemical equations. So I was like, ah, 
is this our mass? And so that's how it's concept. We don't wait, you don't, we don't feel like we go to school. They don't teach you in school, they don't. They lecture you. Like, you know, you know, you know, lecture. <laughs> uh, okay. Please, now you have to to learn, learn them what you do the same thing. You want, want to train them, just like you want things. But bring it down a bit. That's how you want things. Okay. Alright, think that way. Balance the children. So I don't start a new topic so that we don't exit our time. Right? And we just run around some stuff, put some past questions, you're off. Balance the children. Balance the children. Yeah. 
Please just try this again. CaCO3 plus HNO3 I'm just going to use example Like the one we just did now Okay, let's do this one here CaCO Okay 